Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you praise. We exalt you, Lord. 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 Malindus the Brande de Dianta de Ta, Jabala Barande, Letus who played the Tianta de Pit. Oh, we thank you, Lola. A reggae de Pidianta de Ta, Kabala Barabaya Gadiante, Zum Brocodolo Cofritis Cabrantus, a candele bregatilla bregadiante. Oh, Barandis, oh, Barandis, we thank you for the last two days. E Calabranante, Jacade. Kelarianta, Ila Baraba Braca delegate de Bregadiante. Oh, glory to your name, glory to your name. We exalt you, we magnify you. Eco Rabayante, Jubaraba Braca delegate de Bregadiante, Jopotocotilla Cadilla Bregadiante, La Baraba Braca delegate de Bregadilla Bregadiante. Jabaraba bracadele ketile bracadiata. O zande la baraba bracadiante tete. Ila bracado shata. Ila bracadiante tete. Le baraba bracadele ketiante tete. Tende le bracado shata. Ila bracadiante. Ila bracadiante tete. Jabala baraba bracadele ketile bracadiante. Zubudu kodiante tete. La baraba bracadele que tila bracadiante. Mande que de, mande que de, mande que de. Cabala baraba ya cadiante de te. Zubutu cotiante de ta. I catus calebranto si la baraba dele que tila bracadiante de te. Es ya bracadele que tila bracadiante. I le bracadele que tila bracadiante. Zubaraba bracadiante de te. Lepranos calabrantes, we honor you, we exalt you, we love you. We are grateful for your mercy, we are grateful for your grace. Blessed be your name. Glory be to your name, Father, we love you. We just want to say we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful, we are grateful. We are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful. Banus ke fatini me hatis le breke dianta. I le breke tele breke tile frenento san prenus calabranti. Baranis ke frondos kila parata. Le gadila bracatis caprandos ila paratis. Cabini manante, cabini manante. Azupu duku 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 dianta tata. Shagadele gadile breke dianta tete. Barandos Kapatis Kifrande. Thank you for the last two days. We thank you for today is the third day. And on this third day, you will revive us. On this third day, you will strengthen us. On this third day, you will empower us. On this third day, you will, you will make everything possible. On this third day, you will hold our hands and speak words of life and words of hope to us. On this third day, you will raise us again on this third day. You grant us grace and wisdom on this third day. You shift us on this third day. You bring us into a new dimension of you on this third day. You teach us your ways and not just your acts on this third day. You will empower and strengthen us on this third day. You show us mercy like never before in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for day one. We thank you for day two. And here we are in day three. And Lord, we are grateful. We are so grateful that you brought us here together. We're so grateful for your help. We're so grateful for your mercy. We're so grateful for your compassion. We're so grateful for your presence. We're so grateful for what you desire to do in our lives in this season. You call this the convergence of the, 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 the woman. And Lord, 
we just want to say thank you thank you lord thank you lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus we're grateful 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 paradish kala bragado shatianta illa baraba bragadele ke do shandele vegadianta oh we bless your name lord jesus in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed hallelujah glory to god glory to god glory to god glory to god we give you praise lord in the name of jesus we have prayed one more time i just want to say welcome everybody today is day 3 of the retreat how many of us have enjoyed the retreat so far it's been a blessing to us we had the amazing bumia jai speak to us yesterday it was wonderful in god's presence it was wonderful and um the first day we had <clears throat> Excuse me please. We had the the mind blowing pastor Ebele. It, it's been something else. God has been meaning business with us since the beginning of the year. And I don't know about you, but I am grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful for what God is doing in this season. God is taking us from glory to glory, from grace to grace. This week on Thursday we're going to have Mrs. Bula and um she's going to talk to us about we're going to have an interesting conversation on Instagram all right and then we're also going to have the amazing pastor Bukun Akimba Mijo in two weeks on Instagram as well so this this month is so fully packed and it's no coincidence that God says that it is our month of glory and beauty and beauty and i'm so grateful to god that we are on this journey together this retreat has been part of the whole woman the whole woman we're not looking at the half woman we're not looking at some parts of you and ignoring other parts of you we want you whole because god wants you whole we want you complete in god no man hello not a man to complete you we want you complete in Christ we want your identity to be rooted in Christ and the things that Christ has done for you we want you healed healed from the past healed from the present and even healed for the future we 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 want you to stand firm with your head held high that you're not with your head downward so You're not afraid. You're not. You're not. Um, you're not disappointed. You're not distracted. You're not weary. You are loved by the Father. You are loved by the Lord. You are truly, truly loved by God. You know, one of the things that God told me to tell His daughters tonight was that He loves them. Many times it's easy to forget that you are loved by the Father. The circumstances we find ourselves going through daily can sometimes make us feel, "Does God love me? Is God thinking about me? Am I in the heart of the Father?" And God is saying to tell to somebody today that I love you. I've got you in mind. What you're going through is not your end. Ah, somebody did not hear me. What you're going through is not your end. What you're going through is not to break you. What you're going through is not to destroy you. What you're going through is not because God does not love you. What you're going through is because you're greatly loved by the Father. What you're going through is greatly loved by the Father. It's greatly loved by the Father. What you're going through, what you're going through is a process of making. I see even the Lord saying that I'm I'm pulling some of you away from what is familiar. And because you've lost what is familiar, many of you are afraid. You're grasping for straws because you feel I'm in this unfamiliar place. I'm in a space that I don't know. I'm in a space where I, I don't understand what's going on. I've never felt like this before. I've never experienced something like this before. And God is saying I allowed it. I allowed it because 
because I want to reveal a side of you that you never thought existed. I want to show you a different side of you. I want to show you a different side of my love for you. I want to show you a different level of strength that you carry. And the Lord says to tell you today that I am introducing you to a dimension of me called the healer and the comforter. The Lord says, I want to heal, I want to comfort. Some of you experienced major losses in this season. Some of you are going through certain losses that you can't even understand. You feel like you're losing certain things and you can't even explain why you're losing it or how you're losing it or what's even going on around the background. You feel pain, you feel sad, you can't explain it. All you can do is cry. Sometimes you're just confused, you're wondering where did I go wrong? What went wrong? What's going on in my life? And God is saying, in spite of all of this, I've got you. In spite of all of this, I'm in the center of it. In spite of all of this, you are in the center of my will. In spite of all of this, I've got you covered. In the middle of all of this, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. And you are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. I just hear the Lord say to tell somebody, you are not alone. You are not alone. It's a time of encounters. Today is a day of encounters. Today is a day of encounters. Today is a day of encounters. In fact, this is what I hear God say to say. Oh, the Lord is saying, stop overthinking. Stop overthinking, stop overthinking, stop overthinking, stop overthinking. You've been thinking here, there, and everywhere. You've been trying to understand what's going on. You've been trying to feel what's going on, but the Lord says you're overthinking, you're overthinking, you're overthinking, and that's not me. I'm not in it, says the Spirit of the Lord. I'm not in that overthinking, and God is saying stop overthinking and let me be God. Stop overthinking. I don't know who this is for, but if it is you, I want you to put your name and say, rejoice, stop overthinking. Abigail, stop overthinking. Just put your name and say, stop overthinking. Stop overthinking the situation. Stop overthinking. Stop overthinking. Stop overthinking. Stop overthinking. Don't let yourself drown in this pit that the enemy has tried to put you in. Stop overthinking. Stop overthinking. Stop overthinking. You're hurting yourself. Stop overthinking. You're killing yourself. Stop overthinking. You're hindering yourself. Stop overthinking. You're stopping yourself. Stop overthinking. The enemy is using your thoughts against you. The enemy is playing with your mind. The enemy is messing with your mind. In fact, the devil, the, the, the Lord said to tell somebody that the enemy is messing with your mind. 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 The Lord says, stop overthinking. Stop overthinking. Said sometimes you can't hear me speak to you because your mind is running farther than you. Stop overthinking. Stop overthinking. Your thoughts have tried to hinder you. Your thoughts have tried to stop you. Your thoughts have tried to keep you in the place that God did not put you. Stop overthinking. Let go and let God. And there's somebody here that God says to tell you to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself of your past mistakes. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself. You, you need to forgive yourself. He said, I've forgiven you, and now you need to forgive yourself. You can't let the enemy use the emotions you feel against you. 
forgive yourself. You, your, your own forgiveness of yourself is hindering you from being all that God wants you to be. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself. This is not the end. Forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just see the Lord healing past wounds, family wounds. Some people have been hurt by family. And the Lord is saying, I want to heal your wounds from your family. Family has hurt you. Family has broken you. Family has made you feel like you're not good enough. Family has made you feel like you don't belong. Family has made you feel like this is the end of you. Family has asked, has any good thing or can any good thing come out of you? God says, forgive yourself. Let yourself go. Let yourself love again. Let yourself live again. Let yourself laugh again. Let yourself hope again. Let yourself dream again. Let yourself see again. Let yourself see again. See as God sees you. The whole woman is not the woman that has all the money in her account. She is the woman that sees herself the way that God sees her. The whole woman. The whole woman is the woman that sees herself the way that God sees her and accepts herself the way that God has accepted her. She's not here for the jokes and all the games she's not here to play she's not here to compromise she refuses to take no for an answer she understands who she is in God and she pursues that person she is every single time without taking no for an answer how many times have you taken no when God has given you his yes How many times have you accepted no when all God is screaming is I approve? (laughs) When all God is saying, you have my permission. You have my permission. That's all he's saying. That's all he's resounding. That's all he's alarming. That's all he's shouting. You have my permission. And for so long, you have believed a lie. For so long, you've been told a lie. For so long, you have been running around in a life for so long. You've been told that, that this is the pattern on how to get to the destination. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one knows you like I know you. No one would ever know you like the way I know you. I know you. I've got you covered. I know you. I'm the one that created you. I'm the one that called you. I'm the one that brought you out. I know you. I'm the one. I'm the one. I see you. You know, God is just telling me to tell somebody, I see you, daughter. I see you. I see the cries that you cry when nobody's looking. I see the way that tears falls from your eyes when you look at certain women and you wonder, does God favor them over me? And God is saying, I don't favor them over you. I love you just the same if not more. God said to tell you, I love you just the same, if not more. I love you just the same, if not more. I see you. I just hear God say to announce to somebody, I see you. There's somebody here that is wondering, does God see me? Does God see me? Does God see me? There's so many people. Does God see me? And God says, I see you. I see you. I see how you feel. I see you. I see you. I see the tears that you cry at night. I see the questions that you have when you feel that nobody is watching. I see the the, the unanswered questions that keep you up at night. I see the pains that you're hiding from everybody else. 
I see, I see, I see. I just keep hearing the Lord say, I see, I see you, I see you. And, and I'm not far anymore. I'm not far from you. I'm not ignoring you. I'm not looking away from you. I see you. I just want you whole. I just want you whole. I just want you whole. So today, if you didn't hear anything from everything that I said, I want you to hear that God sees you. in the midst of the crowd, in the midst of the noise, in the midst of everything, God sees you. And that's what he sent me to tell somebody tonight, I see you. I see you. You're not limited to just marriage and kids. You're not limited to the pains that you've tried to hide. You're not limited from the closed door complaints that you have. You're not limited. I see you, says the Lord. I see you. I see you, and I don't just see you like another statistic. I see you the way I created you to be seen. I see you like you matter. Just hear God say to somebody, you matter. You're important. You're relevant. You're not a statistic. You matter. You know how Jesus had to go through Samaria because of a woman? Like he left everything else that needed to be done. And he went through Samaria because he needed to reach a woman. Because he needed to tell a woman, you are important. Because he needed to speak life to a woman. He could have sent his angels. He could have sent the disciples. But instead, he, he sent those away who felt that they were so important. And he decided to show a woman just how important she is to him. For all of you under the sound of my voice, I want to tell you today that you matter to God. You are more than just a statistic. There is no competition to how much God cares about you. There is no competition as to how much you matter to God. You know, oh, thank you, Jesus. I just heard the Lord said to tell somebody that I'm rebuking kings in exchange for your life. I'm rebuking kings for you. I'm rebuking kings for you. There are some of you. I'm rebuking kings for you. I'm rebuking them. I'm rebuking them. I'm rebuking kings for you. In fact, those people that think that they're so important that nobody can speak to them, nobody can show them, I am rebuking them for you. That's how important you are to me. That's how important you are to me. The whole woman is complete in God. She's complete in God. I know sometimes we can feel overwhelmed and we can feel threatened, threatened by 
our friends and the, th the advantages they seem to have over us. Threatened by the people around us. We feel so threatened. And God says, don't be threatened by any man. The process is much different. And I am taking the glory out of your life. I'm taking you on a journey. I'm walking you through the path. Because he was the one that says that even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. He's got you covered. And just like the woman at Samaria, Jesus has come to preach to one woman on this call. Jesus has brought me online this evening in spite of everything that has happened today and how long my day has been. He brought me here today for a lady on this call who has been saying, God, do you even see me? God, do you even care about me? God, do you even care about what I'm going through? God, is it that I am different? I am so different and I am so unloved by you. Is it that you don't see my tears? And God said to tell you, I understand the language of your tears. I understand the language of your pain. I understand the language of what you feel. I understand the brokenness that you feel. I understand the pain that you feel. I understand the, the way you feel misunderstood. I understand the way you feel neglected. I understand the way you feel like you don't belong anywhere. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. And Jesus wants to heal you tonight. Jesus wants to heal you tonight. He wants to heal you of the sting of rejection. He wants to heal you of the sting of pain. He wants to heal you. And he's saying, I need you to embrace your journey with me. I need you to embrace the pathway that I'm taking you. I need to, you to embrace the fact that you are different. I need you to see yourself the way that I see you. I need you to come into a place where your identity is not defined by what is going on around you. He says, I want to define your identity. I want to be the one that defines you. I want you to, to be the one that defines how you feel. Allow me to be the one who will hold your hand and lead you out. And even when you're going through this path of pain, even when you're going through this path that you don't understand, even when you're going through this path that seems so confusing, I never left you alone is what God said. I never left you by yourself. I never left you by yourself. Maybe that's the word that somebody needs to say to their self right now and just say, I'm not alone. God never left me alone. I'm not alone. God never left me alone. God never left me alone. God never left me alone. I may not feel how loud his, vo his voice as loudly as I want, but God never left me alone. 
In fact, I hear the Lord say to tell you that you can have it all. There's a lady here that has been asking, can I have it all? Can I dare to trust God for all? Could I dare? Could I dare to ask God for everything? Could I dare to ask God for more than I have right now? Could I dare to ask God? And God said, daughter, you can have it all. You can have it all. You can have it all. You don't have to limit me. You can have it all. You don't have to be limited by how you feel. You can have it all. You can have it all. I'm breaking those limitations that you even put for yourself. I'm breaking the limitations that others put for you. I'm breaking those thoughts that others says that, that, that you should live up to. I never designed you to live that way. You can have it all. You can have it all. You can have it all. That's how God designed it. That's how God made it. That's how God made it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's nine. I just want a lady to reach out to God and receive his love. I just want a lady to reach out to God and say, I'm grateful that you never left me alone. I just take a hold of your hands and hold on to your love. I'm grateful that in spite of all of this, I'm not alone. I am loved by you. And this evening, I receive your love. 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 This evening, I yield to be healed. 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 I want to... be made whole. I yield to be healed. I yield to be healed. I yield to be healed. Somebody needs to cry to God. You can unmute yourself and pray if you are in a place that is not noisy. You can just unmute yourself and cry out to God. You can just cry to God. Don't be shy. You're among sisters. Don't be shy. You can just unmute yourself and just pray. And just cry to God. I'm <laughs> 
Amen. The emphasis of God for us this year is an emphasis on identity. To reveal our identity to us, to show us a dimension of Him that we did not know. So today, I pray for you that as you go through this year, that God will reveal your identity to you. You will not second guess who you are. You will not be shy about who you are. You will not be um, embarrassed about who you are. But you would be confident about who you are. You will be confident about what God has called you to do. You will be confident. You will be confident. You will be confident. You'll be confident. There's this there's going to be an increased confidence in who God has called you to be. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you that Jesus will come visiting you. 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 Jesus will break through your walls and he will come visiting you. Jesus 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 will leave the crowd and he will come to where you are hiding, where you are and come visiting you. He will come visiting you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is stretching forth his hand towards somebody and he's saying, I'm bringing you out of the crowd. 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 I'm unleashing you and I'm bringing you out of the crowd and I'm bringing you to a place and a space of rest. I'm bringing you out of the crowd. I am bringing you out of the crowd. And in the next six months, you're going to look back on yourself and you're going to wonder, how did I get here? You're going to look back on yourself and you're wondering, what has God done to me in the last one year? You're going to look back on yourself and you're going to say that God is truly, truly faithful. God is truly, truly faithful. There's so much healing that's going on. There's so much hope that's coming back to the hearts of people. There's so much hope that's coming back to the hearts of people. There's so much life that's returning to the lives of people. There's so much, there's so much, there's so much belief. There's so much belief that's coming back. There's so much belief. You're going to believe in yourself again. There's some of you that don't even believe that any good thing can come out of you. It is well. It is well. The Holy Spirit is going to invade tonight. 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 
The Holy Spirit is going to invade tonight. The Holy Spirit is going to break through all of them. Invade. It's going to invade. It's going to break through your fears and he will invade you. He will invade you. He will invade you. He will invade you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, faithful Jesus. We adore you, Lord. Physical pains are being healed. Physical ailments are being healed. Jesus is healing ailments. Jesus is healing ailments. Jesus is healing ailments. He's healing diseases that have lasted a long time. I see the Lord say to somebody that your womb is open. Your womb is open. Your womb is open. There's a lady here that the enemy has shot your womb. And the Lord said to announce to you that your womb is open and that you are healed. Your womb is open and you are healed. Your womb is open and you are healed. I speak that this is a season of fruitfulness. This is a season of fruitfulness, and the Lord will cause his glory to shine upon you. The Lord will cause his glory to invade you. The Lord he is going to cause his glory to overrun, overshadow you. The Lord is going to cause his glory to take away every shame and reproach. The Lord is going to cause his glory to do the uncommon and the unusual like never before. Your life will never be the same again. From this weekend, you're stepping into a season of stability. God is bringing you stability. God is giving you stability. God is bringing you stability. Stability, stability, stability. There are some of you that God is going to end certain relationships. God is going to end certain relationships, not because they are bad, but because they are not God's best for you. I pray that God will end those relationships and grant you stability. He will end it by his mighty power. Without stress, God will end it. God will end it. God will end it. A friend of mine was sharing a testimony with me about how God ended a relationship that she knew she was not meant to be in, but she forced herself to be in it. God will end those kind of relationships and give you peace by all means in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And we celebrate God for tonight and the last three nights and the mighty things. Can we just thank God, everybody? Just thank God in the chats. Just thank God. Just thank God. Just thank God. Thank God, give him praise, give him glory, give him praise, give him glory, give him praise, give him glory, give him praise, give him glory. Give him praise, give him glory. Give him praise, give him glory. Tonight is going to be a night of encounters. For some of you, the presence of God will so invade you that the best you can do is cry. 
For some of you, the presence and the power of God will just literally almost sit on you. He's going to sit on you. He's going to sit on you. He's going to sit on you. For many of you, instructions, instructions are going to come. 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 In the name of Jesus. It's a new dawn for you. It's a new dawn for you. You are healed. You are made whole. You are loved by the Father. You are accepted by the Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for coming out. This Tuesday, we're not going to have class. We're just going to give you an opportunity to listen to the replays of the sessions. Um, we're going to give you an opportunity to listen to the replays. And then um, yesterday's replay obviously will not be available. Yesterday's replays will not be available, but um, day one and today's replay will be available. All right. And then we're back on Friday, on Thursday.